Hi everybody, it's me, Jen Nail Pal. Er, it's my playhouse, and I'm making coffee soap tonight. And most times, when I've seen videos on coffee soap, they freeze their coffee up, and then, or make their coffee, and then freeze it into ice cubes, and then add it to the lye, which takes about 10 minutes. But to me, this just seems like a waste of time, a lot of time, because it's not just 10 minutes to, you know, disperse your lye in your coffee ice cubes. You have to make your ice cubes, you have to make your coffee, and blah, 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 blah. And I'm like, there's got to be a better way. So, I measured out, or I mean, I took the temperature of my lye at the highest point. And then I did the thermometer on my coffee as it was coming out. There's not even a 10 degree difference. So I'm going to try just adding my coffee grounds right to my water or my solution. It's either going to work or it's going to ruin it. So we're going to add a whole coffee. This is Jamaican me crazy. So, I don't know. It'll work or it won't work. So, I am going to go add the lye. And we'll see. We'll go from there. Okay, so I did not see any difference in my solution except for instead of getting to 167, it got to 154. So, it's a 13 degree difference. And that's it. Like, there was a little funkier smell when I mixed the lye, but nothing majorly different at all. I mean, it went away like the lye smell does within a few seconds. And, you know, so this is a new recipe. And let's see. It's got babasu, castor oil, coconut, grapeseed, olive, safflower, shea butter, sunflower, cocoa butter, rice bran. And I use the lye, I mean the aloe juice instead of the water, salt, silk, maple syrup, kale and clay, and coconut milk. And then of course the coffee grounds in there. And I did I just kept them in there because it's going to be an exfoliating um, bar. Yeah. Brain fart. And I scented it with coffee. I did use the scent. Like, I mean, it totally smells like coffee. It's really, really a nice scent. If you want to wake me up in the morning, this is perfect. So... You see the plain batter. I didn't color because there's 8.3% vanillin. Um, it's going to turn dark anyways. And it will discolor your water when you use it. I've learned this from one of my other, um, my Dark Kiss soap that I absolutely love. My son used it the other day and he's like, Mom, it makes it look like you're dirty. I said, I know, it's just the soap discoloration but it's not like it stains you he said no it didn't stain me or nothing too bad it doesn't because then you wouldn't have to go tanning right <laughs> but so yeah um I'm just doing I think this is called the zebra stripe pour and I'm alternating between the tan um which will be dark and then the copper and the latte color I'm not sure if you'll actually see much of the um, actual latte or caramel or copper color. Just because when this darkens, it might overpower it. So there might be just like a hint of a different color in there. I'm not sure. Right now, my bars haven't actually, um, or my loaf, hasn't actually started to discolor. I don't believe. So we'll see. I'm super excited. You know, I love trying new things out. And this definitely saved time. I mean, 
How long does it take to freeze for ice cubes? A couple hours. You gotta make your coffee. And then to add the lye to the ice cubes, people take and just it takes about ten minutes. Way more time than I would want to spend. <coughs> so I'm glad I tried this, excuse me. <coughs> I'm still trying to get over this remaining cough from the pneumonia. But I mean, so far, I like this recipe. Plenty of time to work. It did get thicker at the end. But, if I didn't do this pour, like if I just did a um, drop swirl or drop pour, whatever you want to call it, I would have had plenty of time to work. This is a little more time consuming. Before I sped this video up, it was like 25 minutes long. And I sped it up four times, so. Yeah. But there was definitely plenty of time to work. Um, what else? Hmm. I don't know. And we're finally getting to the end of the fill. You can't fit much more in there. Not at all. And I only had a little bit of batter left over, so that was really nice. I got to make, you know, one mold for Cameo, which you can see is the pink. Little sun and moon. And then one butterfly. So, I just can't wait to try this. I hope it turns out nice and creamy. The percentage was higher on the creaminess. So, I really hope that works out. Waiting really sucks. Um, I don't know. Brain fart again. I got way too much going on in my mind. Just going to do a little decorating on the top to fill up the remaining because I couldn't, you know, pour any more the way I was pouring it. So, yeah, a little quick cleanup. <laughs> Finally got the paper towel. Let's see, just a little quick toothpick. And it's a pretty swirl. And that's it. Okay, so I've got them out of the mold. All of them. This is Cameos, which I'm going to have to repaint because I just forgot to move the camera light. The mica actually stuck in this one. It definitely hit all the spots. It just didn't sink in. So I'll repaint that one. And then, you know, I did my little butterfly one for myself. Hasn't discolored yet, so I'm a little nervous. Maybe it's not even going to discolor, but it should because of all the vanillin that's in it. And then we have this top. The sides really don't show much. But let's cut it. So I'm going to cut it the two different ways again because I you know this is my experimenting too maybe I just because everybody cuts it this way doesn't mean I won't like it when it's cut this way so we will see See that? That's pretty cool. Lots of thin stripes. Nice coloring. Definitely see all the um, coffee grounds. That's really cool. First time I've done this, like I said. So I do like that. So I'm going to just cut this one the same way. Get the two bars. It's got a nice pretty top. I didn't figure there'd be much difference. So that's pretty cool. I do like it. I will take pictures too. 
And then this one, we will cut the other way. So yeah, I mean either way I like it. You got the stripes both ways, so that's cool. And I like this size bar better than that size. It just handles easier, so I don't see a problem either way. And they weigh the same. This you got a little more curved. This is just straight. That's got a neat design right there. I don't know if you can even see that. I can't zoom in in this way, but yeah that's it thanks for watching and experimenting with me and i hope you all have a great day bye